what's up guys welcome back to a new video today i'm right here with a new mazda 6 5 and i'm just about to start the test drive this is the facelift 2022 model and in this video we will drive it and i will give you my feedback before we go forward i want to tell you that i'm in switzerland if you're in switzerland around switzerland check out guys belvag in bern i will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check them out guys also the model that i have with me here is the signature model that means it's the top end version model that comes with a 2.5 liter petrol engine 194 horsepower also this new mazda cx5 comes standard with all-wheel drive system anyway the starting price of this model it's 49,200 francs but this car with me has also optional the glass roof 1,800 francs I will show you in the other video I will have a separate video full review interior exterior with the same car there I will explain you and I will show you the interior exterior the quality material the space everything about the car the car that I have with me normal the price is 51,000 francs but because this is not a new car, it's a demo car, you will have a great discount, 4,600 francs. So the final price will be 46,400 francs. I will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea. It's a great price for what this car can offer and the quality in the interior is just incredible. Check out the review guys, you will see there a little bit more. Now I wanna give you some technical data before we start the test drive. So as I said, the car comes with a 2.5 liter petrol engine, four cylinders in line, 194 horsepower, 258 newton meters. Also, the car is connected with a six speed automatic transmission and the car can do zero to 109.2 seconds and maximum speed 195 km per hour. Also, the turning circle of the car, 11 meters. This is important for the test drive. 58 liter is the fuel tank capacity also the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front in the back we have only brake discs the car come with mcpherson independent suspension on the front and multi-link on the rear so guys this was the most important technical data let's drive the car and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys let's drive the car here is the key uh, classic key for uh, Mazda I love the key it's very light it's very modern and nice and also I like the way they put the buttons here on the side what you can do with the key open the trunk it comes with an automatic lift gate but all about that I will have a separate video so check out the full review video there I explain you everything guys I show you also the trunk interior exterior material quality technical data everything in other video uh, in this video it's all about driving as I said before lock and unlock the car uh, the car come with 17 inch rims there are winter tires guys break this on the rear ventilated break this on the front those are winter tires a lot of gummy here that mean we will have a great comfort it will help the suspension so you'll have even a better comfort but if you want a better look you should go with 18 inch rims but yeah anyway uh, we will talk about that in other video here's the handle lock and unlock the car the car come also with electric folding mirrors electric adjustable seats I love those chrome buttons uh, two position to save the seats leather seats lovely I have to tell you the quality inside the car I was impressed uh, to see that it's super super good quality and also those seats are phenomenal I love the seats they are incredible comfortable normal pedals no aluminum pedals here we have also the buttons for lane assist view camera view parking sensors but all about that we will talk also uh, in the review video everywhere here soft and nice material super super good quality material inside the car also uh, the classic kind of steering wheel I like it and also the car come with both uh, sound system head-up display press the brake let me start the engine here is the start engine button also something that I wish to be different and maybe in the next version of the car uh, will be a digital cockpit because right here we have kind of a digital cockpit but you, you cannot customize it in many many ways like you can do in other cars but other than that it's just simple and it show everything there uh, in the front also it comes with a head-up display directly on the windshield that's really really good I like that very much here yeah, and it looks also nice you you barely notice it and that means it doesn't bother you while you're driving big mirrors great visibility around the windows what I notice also the the seats guys have a tall driving position you cannot put it down but it's lovely I mean the way you see you have a tall driving position is just perfect I love also this design 
of the dash with a little bit of fake wood here soft everywhere soft everywhere you have soft material in good quality electronic handbrake auto hold here are the controls for the big uh, infotainment system also i like very much the way they position it this time it's also a little bit bigger and it looks nice it's not a touch screen but yeah anyway we will talk about that later in the other video here you have different driving modes you have three different driving modes off-road normal and sport mode we will try all three and here is the gear shifter six speed automatic when you go in reverse you have 360 degrees camera and the resolution of the camera it's very very good i have to tell you that also we have a button here on the side when you press this button you can see right there the cameras uh, and i think you can also change it i'm not sure about that if you press it two times you can see on the side you press this button and you can see different views from here so that's that's quite quite cool i like that by the way before we start i have to tell you that i have a glass roof up here also uh, that you can open it up from here it's cold outside i'm not going to do that big mirror here great visibility on this mirror and also have tiny edges so you have a huge huge window there in the back so the visibility from the driver point of view it's perfect going in drive also you can change the gears manually you have some pedals behind here you can go like this you can change it from here or you can leave it in drive and you have uh, the automatic let's drive it i'm, I'm really curious uh, the way it's drive also what i heard that the suspension are better the sound insulation it's better also the handlings are better i'm really curious uh, to give you my feedback also what I noticed until now is that the car it's relatively silent and smooth even the pedals are very smooth but I'm really curious to see the difference between this and the, the previous version good visibility on the head of display until now um, great great comfort on those seats they feel very comfortable and premium it's a relatively premium car guys so yeah over the bumps oh yeah like i say i think the suspension are much better than the previous version and i think those tires those winter tire 17 inch rims um, they also help it a little bit because they feel incredible smooth and comfortable yeah i hear some people say that they're they're a little bit stiffer but i don't find it stiffer at least with those winter tires maybe with summer but it feels super comfy visibility perfect it's also quite easy to to drive in small spaces for example like here oh the gear shifter it's also smooth steering wheel in normal mode it's quite quite heavy it's not that assisted as I always expected so the steering wheel it's more like more sporty wow it feels relatively sporty I'm impressed about that I didn't expect to be so sporty to be honest the pedals are very very smooth they feel super premium oh yeah they, they, they put a little bit more work in 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 handlings and suspension and the car feel a little bit close to the ground it feels super sporty I didn't expect in this class to make the car so sporty big mirrors the mirrors are huge on the side you have such a good visibility on the mirrors you see it perfectly perfect visibility from from uh, this angle and also great visibility on the multimedia I'm incredible surprise oh boy how good the car stay on the road how sporty it feels didn't expect to make it so sporty on those curves it stays so good we have blind spot technology in the mirror so you know if a car it's on the left side there also it comes with lane assist and all that technology it comes with heated steering wheel this version that I have it here it's signature version that means it's full option you have everything on this here on the steering wheel you have those buttons where you can activate for example the lane assist 
uh, the cruise control from here you can set it up let me set it to 80 and then the lane assist and I'm, you can see it also on the head of display I don't know if you can see it so clear yes lane assist this is the distance and this is the lane assist okay no, this is deactivation now I activate it here is lane assist on the side okay now it's good let me go on the right side I don't want to bother the other ones that want to drive faster and now I'm really curious it's hit it's hold the speed didn't feel I don't know if this is a real proper lane assist like autopilot or it's just an yeah it's just an how can I say let me go right it's just like it's kind of a warning more than a lane assist it's kind of assist you when you go outside the lane but it doesn't help you when you are um, it doesn't help you yeah you see it help you when you go outside for example you go outside the lanes it will help you keep you between the lanes yeah look at this it's really good but it's not an autopilot that's something to keep in mind um, it's really useful to be honest uh, it's a very very good safety feature anyway let's go out here it's quite silent you cannot hear so much noise from outside this is very very good and the engine it's it's also silent they did a great job with the sound insulation sound insulation is it's, it's wonderful it's really premium guys I tell you you can hear so much noise from outside have also the power when you need it to come in by the way the car come with ventilated seats also heated seats with a lot of features in this price so that's that's quite quite a good price for for a premium car because it feels super premium it's also much more beautiful the exterior design head-up display it's really clear it shows you everything there quite clear so you see uh, all there on this on the on the windshield it's kind of a a little bit opaque so you can see it between transparent a little bit so it doesn't bother you at all the grip on the steering wheel it's nice um, it's a lovely car it feels quite premium to drive it it's a nice driving feeling it's a pleasant driving feeling I was expecting that they they work more on on the comfort side not on sportiness but I'm surprised to see that the suspension are, are super comfortable and also it's doing a great job on the curves the handlings are, are awesome car doesn't feel like a boat when you go left and right and also the direction the, the steering it's so so precise like like a super sporty car like a heavy car I should say like it's more like a BMW it goes in the BMW area and that that surprised me a little bit to be honest I didn't expect to feel to have that BMW feeling uh, on the curves it's very very close so look at it so so heavy you really feel like you're driving a car and it's so silent so many cars outside but in the interior it's very silent they, they put a lot of work in the car 
and this is in normal mode let's let's change the driving mode let's go in sport mode guys i'm really curious oh yeah yes sir brakes are great so smooth it's also very hot inside here i turn off the climatic system right now let's see on those curves oh boy oh yeah lovely lovely handlings oh man i like it it's super fun so guys it's kind of unique feeling if you if you if you drive tucson tucson for example hyundai tucson or other car in the same class doesn't feel like this one so sporty i didn't expect that look here how heavy you have to turn the steering wheel <laughs> i don't know how to explain you guys oh boy i like it i like it it's so fun to drive in curves it feels so stable oh it feels crazy stable give you that give you that feeling like you are driving a sporty car now the, the engine is changing the rpm a little bit later in sport mode you can hear the engine so when you are in sport mode it will change a little bit later as expected it has a little bit of torque so you can hear it when you accelerate nice 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 it's a nice feeling pleasant driving it's super super pleasant sun come from the front you can hear that the engine is staying all the time a little bit at higher rpm right now in sport mode but immediately when we change the driving mode um, it will go to silent smooth and silent I think most of the people they will drive the car in silent in normal mode it's it's a very nice ride for a daily driver I can say um, if you like that sporty feeling of a steering when the direction is not so assisted uh, this might be one of the best car for you if you like that feeling of assisted steering wheel and easiness to to take the curve and ride then this this car may not be for you but if you like that sporty crazy feeling like a bmw then um this mazda cx5 uh, might be one of the best and also it has a lovely price super smooth super premium the brakes it feels everything feels really really good let's go back to, to sport mode guys let's try an acceleration one more time so you can see right here the steering it's it's super super heavy doesn't feel that super super at acceleration it's not that powerful but the driving feeling it's I feel somehow that 
that if you will buy this car just go with the with the powerful one because this one 194 horsepower it feels a little bit I don't know the steering it's super sporty and super super good in a sport way and the acceleration doesn't doesn't match out you know with with the sporty feeling so I think 250 horsepower it's it's is the way to go with this Mazda CX-5 so if you would buy it go with the powerful engine then you will have the perfect match between steering handlings and power acceleration other than that the car it's super nice to drive if you drive in normal mode if you would drive all the time in normal mode you don't care about power and acceleration anyone drives smoothly and nicely then it doesn't matter it's you can you can easily go with it so as you can see here the consumption on the last 561 kilometers it's 9.5 liters it's a pretty good consumption in my opinion as you can see right there in the middle also you can change the views there you can see different things uh, on the cockpit but it's not that customizable as on other uh, competitors it's so smooth in, in normal mode the car it's incredible smooth the suspension are very good it's a great ride the, the seats are super good visibility perfect um, it stays on those curves it's so unique it's so unique and fun to be honest the way it stays on those curves it's it's lovely it's so unique oh so fun now i understand i can make i can i can actually make you an overview about the car right now how silent it is so I will show you also how easy it is to park it for example if you want to park it here you just go in reverse and you have all that 360 degrees camera it's incredible useful this 360 degrees camera and also I can say that I'm um, in the parking the, the steering wheel is not so heavy, not so bad as I was thinking. So you have a front camera, very good resolution there. Electronic handbrake, auto hold here. Stop the engine for a while. And that was the test drive, guys. I hope I cover everything for you. I hope you get some useful information from this video. The conclusion is like this. The comfort on those seats, it's wonderful. Visibility, almost perfect. Nothing to say about that. Also visibility in the multimedia, head-up display everything is great the steering wheel keep in mind is not very assisted if you like an assisted steering wheel and easy to drive with one finger stuff like that it doesn't work it's a bmw feeling a sporty feeling added to the car the engine it's powerful but i feel like it's not enough power uh in the car at 194 horsepower go with 250 horsepower will be much better match with the handlings that are incredible on the curves the car stays really good much better than the previous version 
and much better than the competitors in terms of handling and sporty feeling mm, they, they might be the best other than that my rating for the car from 1 to 10 will be 9 point um, taking the consideration price okay for an SUV 9.6 is my rating for the car I wish in the future to see uh, a little bit of changes here and there for example new cockpit multimedia system a little bit better but yeah I can't complain about that the quality is incredible in the cabin but I'm talking only about the driving feeling so in terms of driving feeling they can improve it not the handlings where they are super good but in terms of steering wheel changing driving modes I think there they can do a little bit better job so 9.6 anyway it's a good rating so guys that was the video I hope you enjoy it don't forget to check out the review full review same car interior exterior you will see everything there and other than that thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe uh, I will leave the link in the description to Belvag in Bern if you are around Switzerland uh, if you want to drive the car buy the car see the car check out Belvag in Bern guys the link will be down there thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys <music>